Hello guys, welcome back to the weekly vlog. And I decided we're gonna spice things up here on my vlogs. And I wanna start addressing and tackling real topics, juicy topics, things that I don't see other people talking about, but we're gonna talk about it. I have always been kind of an open book, but I've just never felt like it was appropriate to share certain things on my main channel. Just because that's a very polished content. I talk about cleaning and organizing. It's kind of random to throw in these types of topics, but that's why I have my second channel so I can really open up. If you have any requests for future topics, leave them down below. Today we're gonna to be talking about marriage, the reality of marriage, and specifically my marriage and some issues that we have been experiencing due to the quarantine and some just generally. So anyway, at some point in this vlog, I don't know if it's gonna be the middle, at the end, we will have a little chat, real chats with Brittany. Hello guys, so I'm coming today full glam or partial glam because my mom is actually here. I know what you're thinking, Brittany, we're quarantined, what are you doing? Um, so she has been fully isolated, quarantined for about six weeks. So I thought it was about time. I felt safe enough for her to come over, especially with Mother's Day coming up. We wanted to get a nice picture. That's what she wanted for Mother's Day, a nice picture of me, her, and Carter. Trust me when I say I am like the most paranoid person out there for COVID-19 because of baby girl right here. So ready and I need to go pick out a dress so I'll show you the options. I have all these cute pregnancy dresses that I have absolutely nowhere to wear and probably by the time this is all over, my pregnancy will be over. So I'll donate them. Maybe I'll give them away <laughs> to one of you guys. This is option number one, pretty flowy dress. I like the colors and the pattern on this. This is from ThreadUp, I believe. Most of my pregnancy dresses are from there. My issue is that it kind of makes me look bigger than I am, the flowy style. I kind of prefer a, a tighter dress. Okay, how pretty is this one? This one may be the winner. Can't go wrong with white. This one's also flowy, but I think it's a little bit more flattering um this is another one i think it was originally from bb but i got it on thread up Hello. grandma's here we tried taking pictures for mother's day we took about 100 Five and hundred. so far zero <laughs> look good either you're squinting i'm blinking carter's looking weird i can't smile because my big cheeks make me look i have the same problem you just have to like keep your eyes wide <laughs> what expression can you do that what about doe-eyed? But you have to look happy. Now look happy. <laughs> the cheek, the vast word cheek problem is very serious. Okay, but mom, you're only looking at yourself. Well, she's, saying, all that <laughs> she's saying these ones look good, that only you look good. I'm like literally blinking. Here's Carter's breakfast today. We have, these are Kodiak cakes with blueberries. I pre-made a batch for a few days. So I just had to heat those up. We have blackberries, raspberries, and then a hard-boiled uh, egg with truffle salt. And I, uh, my breakfast. Yeah, so this little guy, my three-year-old, is obsessed with truffle salt. Oh my goodness, you guys, this is the nicest gift ever. I've literally been sitting here crying. My friend Desiree got me this <laughs> necklace has a rainbow on it because today I am 24 weeks pregnant, which is considered viability. So if God forbid anything were to happen and I had to deliver early, baby girl could make it. Like she's old enough that she could survive. So like how sweet that she wrote down when I was gonna be 24 weeks and got me this really beautiful <laughs> rainbow necklace. Oh, yeah, okay, I'm crying again. Carter, first of all, tell me what is in your hair right now. Let me you got a boo-boo, so his dad thought it was a good idea to put a band-aid on his hair. Oh my gosh, there are a few things in this world cuter than when Carter gets a new toy. Are you really excited? <laughs> he turned into something. Now he's a transformer machine. He can try the van car. Mom, that trick got busted. It got rusty? Yeah, because it was outside. It became got it was laying outside all by itself. And so it got rusty? Yeah, and then uh, that's why I'm doing this truck. 
We got a tow it and bring it to the service station. He loves his new truck. He just said, mom, this is my favorite truck ever. So if you saw my kid organization video, I think we're doing a really good job keeping his playroom organized, clutter-free. If you haven't seen that video, make sure to go watch because I showed how to organize all of your kid's stuff, like anything you could think of. But what has been bothering me is this little entry table has become very cluttered. I'm gonna do a little declutter, make it look nicer. So here's our before. And I will be right back. And here is the after. Literally took five minutes and it looks so much nicer. And this is kind of what you see when you walk in. Not that anyone is coming over, but I see it every day. So let this be a little reminder and a challenge. If you have a little clutter spot in your house, just take 10 minutes, declutter it, and I promise you will feel better. Hello guys, so I'm actually on my way to a birthday party, a socially distanced drive-by birthday party. My friends and I are throwing for Jessica, one of our mom friends in our little group. You know, this is the first thing I've had to do in months, so I did get dressed. So here is my outfit. This is one of my favorite pregnancy dresses I wore with Carter, because it feels like pajamas, and that's my life. It's from forever 21 but like four years ago I saved it I was trying to be clever and I used a nipple cover over my belly button that's sticking out but I think you can actually see the outline of the nipple cover so I'll take that off a vehicle all broken in half <gasps> there's a vehicle all broken in half yeah what should we do we should put it back together okay first you attach the wheels onto the cabin okay put the wheels okay. on the cabin <gasps> I think you're missing something. What are we missing? I think you're missing the siren. <gasps> Where did the sirens go? <gasps> there it is. Oh, it's the wrong way. <laughs> it's the wrong way. There. We're missing the bumper. There it is. Can you put it on or do you need me? I need you. <laughs> Wee! Wee! Okay, let's go on our treasure hunt. Whee! Carter's new <laughs> obsession is the squirt gun. He definitely did get me in the face the other day, so I <laughs> have to be careful. Special delivery from Amazon. I got this food storage container set. I wanna organize all of our baking supplies. So I picked up some more flour, we were running low. These are my favorite press on nails right now. I think I'm gonna do an updated tutorial because I have the best techniques to get them to last and look natural, and I'm always updating things. So I'm probably gonna do an updated video on my main channel, and then my Maldon Sea Salt Flakes. If you are not already using these, this makes everything taste better. It's like a finishing salt, so once you're done making your meal, you just put a few little sprinkles of this, and it just makes it so much better. Mommy, you're so beautiful. Oh my god, I got it on camera. This is my little sweetheart. Okay, this is one of my go-to snacks, a Granny Smith apple with hazelnut butter. My favorite nut butter is one from Amazon, Amy's Cinnamon Almond Butter, but it's sold out. So I'm having this for now, and uh, it's a good snack. It's high in fats, high calories, which is what I need. Okay, we are doing some baking right now because Carter enjoys it. I want a delicious treat. Uh, we don't have many ingredients right now because I need to order more. So we we're able to make these brown sugar cookies because there's only a few ingredients. So I had to make a brown butter, brown sugar mixture that we're gonna combine with our dry ingredients. Okay, here's our dough. It looks a little wet to me. I'm a little bit nervous about how these are gonna turn out. <laughs> Look at my little sous chef, he loves baking. I never really was into baking before this whole quarantine. Okay, we're just gonna start with a test batch. This is the wettest batter I've ever seen. You ready to try cookie? Yeah. What do you, what's the magic word? Abacadabra. What the other magic word? Please. Mm. Is it good? Yeah. Hello, so this time we have a little sit down chat about what is probably the topic of this vlog and that is about marriage issues. I would imagine a lot of people out there may be struggling during this time because, you know, it's a lot of time in very close quarters, you know? So the first thing I want to say is that having issues is 
normal. It's expected. I would almost be more worried if a couple told me that they had no issues. Now I wish Ryan could be here having this conversation with me, but we are currently alternating watching Carter. So he's watching him so I could film and I watch him when he works and all of that. But maybe I will have him on either later or in another vlog doing a Q&A or getting his perspective. So here's the situation with us, okay? I would say the biggest overarching issue that's like an ongoing issue that we've had over the years is the fact that he is a big spender and I'm a big saver. You may be surprised to hear that, may not think that by watching my videos, but I promise you guys, if you know me in real life, I am known for being very frugal. I do not like spending money, especially large amounts of money. Like most of what I will buy is either for Carter or for videos. Ryan is a big, big spender. He doesn't think as much about the things he buys. He can be more impulsive. A lot of it does come from a good place. Like he's very generous. So he buys me very extravagant gifts. He likes to go when we do travel or do something, um, he goes big. And it's funny because in a lot of ways I married my mother because my mom is like that too. She's a big spender. Recently this has come up because he decided that he wanted a home gym because the gyms are closed and it's very hard for him to not work out. So we kind of had agreed on a budget and let's just say it has gone very, very far over that budget. So that stressed me out, that did bother me and I just felt it was excessive and it still, you know, it still does bother me. I don't really know what to do at this point. This stuff is ordered. Now we do have a joint account and then we have separate accounts for our own personal spending that has helped a lot. So the majority of the gym is coming from his personal spending, but it still like hurts my soul to spend that much. So that's definitely something that's been going on. I would also say that the quarantine is getting to us in a variety of different ways. I think the thing that's been hardest is instead of a like quality time as a family, we've been having to switch off because we're both so busy and we have no help. So when I'm working, he's watching Carter and it just has to go on like that and we're both so exhausted at the end of the day, there's just not as much of that quality time and also time that we're all together. It's almost always been kind of one or the other. So we are trying to do like either Friday night or Saturday night a at home date night, even just watching a movie. We've just been so tired like early on that we haven't even gotten to that point, but hopefully, you know, Saturday night we'll do a movie night or something like that. Then there just comes the everyday annoyances when you are with somebody literally 24 seven. I mean, the only time either one of us leaves is to go to the grocery store once a week he goes. And I have to say, it's really only one-sided. Like I get annoyed with him. He doesn't really ever get annoyed with me. He's just like much more chill and I am, you know, less chill. Being at home has made me more of a neat freak and then also being pregnant, like my nesting thing has started. So I'm getting very bothered by things that are out of place, that things are messy. That's why I did that video a few weeks ago of how to live with a messy person because I needed to up my game and like work on new strategies. And I will say the tips from that video do work. The last two in particular, very, very effective. And being pregnant, I think I'm just like more irritable than normal. Like little things bother me more than normal. Like even to the point we were watching a show together and he was breathing too loud. And I was like, you okay? You're breathing really loud. <laughs> and at that point I realized, you know, I am the problem here. Yeah, it's funny. I have to ask him if anything that I do annoys him. If it does, he hasn't said it to me. Oh my gosh, okay, another thing. He does this thing where he like barges in without knocking or announcing himself. It scares me like half to death. And you know, I'm pregnant, I could fall, I could hurt myself. But I was like in the shower, and, you know, you're showering in peace, you're not expecting someone like, hello. And I screamed at the top of my lungs. I was in here working, he just, whoop, Hi, I'm here. I know these all sound trivial and it's kind of funny when you talk about it, but I think it's just what happen with anybody you're living with and you literally cannot leave the house. But that being said, I mean, there are issues. And the reason I even thought to bring this up and talk about it is because my girlfriend and I, we were on the phone the other day and we were just like going back and forth with what our husbands were doing that was annoying us. And I thought it was pretty funny. And I'm like, you know what? This needs to be talked about more because this is reality. So I just kind of wanted to open up the topic and maybe we can have a little discussion and you can let me know in the comments below how the quarantine has been going for you 
and your partner. I do want to use these vlogs as an opportunity to talk about more topics like this, things that maybe I wouldn't normally talk about on my main channel. We can talk about it here. So if you have any other requests, leave them below. Maybe in a future vlog, we'll do a Q&A and you can hear from him as well. That is going to wrap it up for this vlog. If you did enjoy this and you want me to continue vlogging, please give this a thumbs up. I do need the encouragement because at this moment, I'm thinking that Maybe I'll just do the mommy topics and not the vlogs. I, I don't know. I'm still kind of figuring out how I want this channel to go. So please give me your feedback. And with all that said, I will see you guys soon with a new video.